from Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader. This is ABC Action News. Hey there, I'm Jasmine Stiles. Jason has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a bit. But first, here are your ABC Action News Now headlines. We start with the latest coronavirus numbers from the Department of Health. Since Saturday, Florida has added more than 3,800 new infections and 29 deaths. Statewide totals are now approaching 2.5 million cases. More than 35,000 people have died since this pandemic began. We also keep an eye on the statewide positivity rate. That number sits under 6%. Health experts want that number below 5% to slow the spread of the virus. And if you're doing your part to bring these numbers down, you might be letting social media know you got the COVID-19 vaccine. Doctors say that can be a good thing as long as you're careful. So I think there's some merit in actually celebrating that and putting it on somebody's social media feed. What we worry about is actually providing more information than you need to other than you were vaccinated. The problem is your vaccine cards have personal data on it. Dr. Medina says someone could use that data to find you or use it against you. The fact that your vaccine card contains your full name, it contains your date of birth. There are so many ways that that type of information can be traced back to you, can be traced back to your place of residence, can be traced back to your place of work. If you want to post a photo of your card online, make sure you cover your personal information and be sure to store that card in a safe place. Closer to home, people in the Bay Area were able to eat some amazing food and benefit a good cause. Last year's Taste of South Tampa was postponed, then they held a restaurant week instead. Sunday's event at the Tampa Garden Club had limited capacity and strict protocols to keep attendees safe. People were able to sample food from 25 restaurants, including some newer places. As well as some brand new restaurants like the Hatchery and Brass Tap, which just opened um, on Del Mabry. We have some restaurants that are also here from West Shore Marina and Midtown. Between seven and 800 people were expected to attend. Some money from ticket sales will be used to help businesses hit especially hard by the pandemic. All right, let's check in with meteorologist Jason Adams now. Hot temperatures over the next couple of days. The big weather story as we see the numbers surging past 90 degrees almost area wide and even at the coast where we have been kind of prevented from getting up to that 90 degree mark because of the cooler Gulf water. So heat humidity on the rise low to mid 90s inland upper 80s to around 90 at the coast inland spots. You could see heat index values as high as 100 degrees for the first time this year. Now we're going to be hearing more of that coming up, of course, over the next few months. So here's a look at the forecast. Notice we're already up to 90 in inland spots as we approach the noon time frame. So really not a lot of relief overnight into tomorrow morning before we rapidly warm back up and stay in the low 90s through Wednesday.